you with the three most effective ways to help parents. My school gets the club. However, not a lot of views and we got a lot of comments. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Everything About Everything with me, Carter Chanel. If you are a new subscriber, what's up? Thanks for tapping in. Where have you been? Nevertheless, thank you for subscribing. All of the likes, all of the comments, all of the shares has been popping and I'm loving it. Thanks for growing with me. I love it. Much love to you guys. In the meantime, I hope you guys have been doing well, staying safe with this coronavirus stuff. I hope you guys been keeping your social distance, washing your hands, and sanitizing as often as you can, and wearing your mask. Although, you know, I'm anti-mask, I don't play when somebody gets to coughing or sneezing. If someone coughs around me, I look at them cross-eyed. If somebody sneezes around me, I look at them cock-eyed. I don't play. Even my kids know. If they seem like they want to sneeze and they got to sneeze again, but they try to hold it in, honey, I'm giving them that side eye. I'm looking at them like, <laughs> do we need to have that top? Okay. Do we need to go get them nair swab? I play no games. Nevertheless, I just want to talk to you guys today about LLCs. If you know what an LLC is, hit that like button. If you have an LLC, hit that like button. If you are kind of like, I'm thinking about getting one, not too sure, need a little bit no more knowledge on an LLC, hit that like button. I'm going to get you hip. You guys can go get your notepads and your pens and take notes. I don't have mine, but I do have. Go get y'all stuff. Go get y'all stuff and meet me back here in three minutes. And go. Okay, love. So, LLC stands for Limited Liability Company. What that is, is you being an entrepreneur or getting ready to become an entrepreneur. If someone doesn't like your product and they decide to sue you, that limited liability, make sure that it stays, the lawsuit stays with your company. It protects your assets, your personal assets. They can't come after your home. They can't come after your bank account. They, come, they can't come after your car. They strictly have to keep it to your company. As well as say if you occur a lot of debt within the company, they can't tack that on to your personal debt. It has to strictly say within the company. A lot of people say, well, what's the difference between a corporation and a limited liability company? Well, the difference is pretty much the way your management uh, is set up. So with a corporation, you have to have your shareholders, you have to have your officers, you have to have your meetings monthly, which is you want to have meetings regardless because you always want to tap in and make sure things are going as well. And you always want to show your face. You know, sometimes things get out of whack when you don't show your face. You know, the, 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 the team gets to run an array if they feel like you're out playing somewhere, okay? So you always want to tap in and have meetings and just see what, you know, your staff wants to say or how they're feeling. So with the corporations, uh, you have to have that structure. You have a whole lot of paperwork that you have to do. And with the LLC, you really don't have all of that. And you can set up your management team the way you want to, whether if the manager is you yourself, if you're a sole proprietor, if you have one employee or two employees you can set that up and have as many members as you want with your LLC so that's a good thing another difference is with the corporation when it comes down to taxes the corporation you have to provide personal tax and you get taxed on your business so you get taxed on your personal you get taxed on your business with the LLC all of that is grouped as one because it's considered um, a pass-through entity so therefore, you would claim all of your losses or your gains with yourself. So when you do like your 1040, it's another form that you have to fill out, but you incorporate that all as to one under yourself as your individual. You don't have to do a separate, you know, you don't have to get taxed two times. It's very important that you have an LLC in 2020. Whether you get it in the next three weeks or you get it within the next month, just make sure you get an LLC because it provides so many tax deductions and benefits for you. So I know you're probably saying, well, I'm not even an entrepreneur. I don't even own anything. So how can I even begin to get an LLC? Yes, you are. You're an entrepreneur and you probably don't even know it. You probably, if you babysit, you're an entrepreneur. If you cut grass, you're an entrepreneur. If you, if your homegirls or your homeboys call you up and talk to you, oh, he dumped me, she dumped me. 
oh, I don't know how I'm going to go on. Can you give me this advice? Can you give me the da 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 What are you doing? You're a counselor. You're giving advice. You're an entrepreneur. If you do the little Instacart, you're an entrepreneur. If you do Uber, if you do Lyft, if you are making shirts out of your house, if you are doing a little bit of extra tutoring because of the virus and everybody, we're all virtual learning. So a lot of people need a little extra help. If you're doing that, you're an entrepreneur. If you are a YouTuber, okay, woo woo. If you're a new tuber, such as myself, you are an entrepreneur. You can even brand yourself and have it as a DBA, which is doing business as. You are an entrepreneur. Get it done. Get that name, get it done. Sign up and I'm going to tell you guys. Okay, so let's just talk about it now. So to become an entrepreneur, you have what you want to sell. You have your product. You have your idea, right? You go online. You type in for whatever state you're in. You type in LLC or you go to your .gov website, whatever government there is, the government site that you guys have. Mine is Missouri, Missouri.gov. You go. You tell them you want to start a business. It'll show you how to do it. I think it's like maybe $50 just for a little bit of paperwork. Boom, you log on. They make sure that the name of your company is not already taken because, of course, you can't have a business name that's already established. Boom, they let you know, okay, that's good to go. You in there. You pay. You got your LLC. Next, they'll tell you you want to register. So, therefore, you want to register with the state. You want to register... I take that back. Not with the state. You want to register with Uncle Sam, okay, to make sure that you're getting taxed. And when you do that, you'll get an EIN, which is your employee identification number. And that just shows how to tax you. So say if you're a not-for-profit, you go in a certain tax category. If you're an S-Corp, you go in a certain category. If you're an LLC, if you're an LLP, if you're look, all of that stuff, your EIN number, it taxes you where you need to be. And that right there, some sites charge you it's free, boo-boo, okay? It's completely free. You do not want to pay one red cent, okay? If you pay a penny, pay me. I'll help you, okay? There's so many benefits. So say if you are selling shirts out of your house and you have a room that you're selling it out of, you can get deductions on your rent. You can get deductions on your utilities. You can get deductions on your supplies because... That is part of your business. Say if you have to run to the store and go get ink for your machine, that gas that you're taking to run there, that can be a tax deduction. Say if you are meeting with business customers and you're proposing new ideas, but you need to get your hair done. You got to get those nails together. You can claim those on the tax as a write-off because you got to look good for your business, right? that part okay so now that you know that you are an entrepreneur and you're thinking like well where do I get the money from because I don't have no equipment or my phone is not letting me take pictures I really need like a Canon or a better camera or a better printer or I really need a computer they have funds for that they have credit cards for small business owners such as yourself because you are a small business they have startup money for that they have loans they have grants if you're a woman Honey, we are woman, hear us roar. They have grants just for being a woman. Okay, that's considered a minority. So we are ready in the door. They have loans to start up. They have grants to where if you want to take your business out of your bedroom and you want to put it on the storefront, they have money for that. So when you see all of these people walking around with these boutiques and Oh, they have this building here and they start up and they have their product. They obtain these grants and these loans just like I'm telling you about. It takes three minutes. Get on the computer, Google, see what fits your needs, what fits your income, what fits your state, what fits, you know, your municipality and get on there and do it. Get it done. It's good to have an LLC because, you know, everybody was getting them small business loans. We ain't going to talk about all that. But you know how people was cashing out? What just so happened if something like that does happen again, you can take advantage legally and be getting a little extra coins. Those coins can then go back into your business as they should and grow your business. They are there to help you. Look, the government has oodles and boodles of money that they have to give to you 
for instances such as the coronavirus or such as the PPE is the paycheck per protection program. So if you do have one employee or you got 10 employees, they need to be protected. You can apply for that stuff. So y'all, why not have an LLC in 2020? Why not get an LLC within the next three weeks? Why not start now? Why not share this video and then log off and start Googling and researching what all you need for your municipality or what all is needed in your state and how much it will be in your state. If you need any help, hey, drop your email in my comments and we could get to it. I'm all about empowering. I'm all about progression. I'm all about spreading the love, spreading the knowledge. It's plenty for everybody to get anything out there. I'm not going to hide what I know just because I think that it may take away from me. Because what's for me is for me. What's for you is for you. Okay? If you guys like this video and you find it very knowledgeable, hit that like. Please comment and subscribe and continue to share. If it's something that I may miss or something that y'all can hit me about, drop it in my comments. Okay? All right, you guys. Bye. Wash those hands.